Good afternoon from McNeil Air Force Base and the base chaplain. We're looking forward to today's ceremony where one person is relinquishing an office of great importance to the whole of the National of Civil Air Patrol. Today, you're going to see a ceremony whereby uh, Lieutenant Colonel Linda Pugsley is promoted to full colonel, and during that time too, we're also going to see a very important ceremony called the passing of the stole, which places the trust from one chief of chaplains to the next, allowing that other chief of chaplains to become chief of chaplains emeritus. Colonel Pugsley will be assuming that role today, and we are looking forward to this. General Felka has joined us today, a major general, our new national commander. We're so excited to have him here. And we would like to publicly thank at this time Colonel Benjamin Johnson and the men and women of the fine wing down here at McDill Air Force Base for the use of facilities and for their time and for their people. Thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Please take your seats. If I haven't said it already, please make sure to silence your cell phones. At this time here, I'd like to invite forward Chief of Chaplains Emeritus, John Murdoch, to give our invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, we are thankful to be in your presence today as we have the opportunity to promote Chaplain Pugsley to the Office of Chief of Chaplains. How we thank you for her leadership, we thank you for her service to God and country, and we invoke your blessing upon this time together in your most holy name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Murdoch. This time here, it's my distinct pleasure to go ahead and introduce to you, by way of her biography, Lieutenant Colonel, soon to be Colonel, Linda Pugsley. She holds a Doctorate of Biblical Studies through Colorado Theological Seminary, earned in 2010. In 1987, Florida State University Teaching Certification. A Master's in Counseling from Riders University in 1977. A BS in Nursing. University of Delaware, 1974, and a diploma from my hometown, Boston, Massachusetts, at the Boston City Hospital School of Nursing in the year I was born, <laughs> 1966. These are tremendous accomplishments, but they didn't end there. For Colonel Pugsley, she joined the reserves at Hanscom in March of 1967. Hanscom is right outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Basic training at Shepherd in 67, followed by flight school, uh, flight nurse school that year. Now here's some important things to understand about who it is that's assuming our office. She volunteered for two tours as an AeroVac flight nurse in Vietnam, 1968 to 69 and again in 72. She was stationed with the 67 Aeromedical Evacuation Squadron, the 56th and the 72nd Aeromedical Evacuation Squadrons, with the last assignment being with the 37th which is now called the 45th. And that was here at McDill Air Force Base. She was also an Air Reserve Technician nurse at McGuire Air Force Base in New Jersey, 1972 to 77. And 
She resigned the position as flight nurse with the rank of major in 1978 to pursue the career in ministry that she now holds today. She's been a teacher, a nurse, a lead teacher at New Hope Christian School. She's also on the Vietnam Veterans of America Speakers Bureau since 99, teaching in the local high schools. Ordained in 1989 at Great Hope Christian Fellowship Church, she became an associate pastor there in 1994. Along with many visits to the sick, she preaches midweek service and once a month service at that same church. Colonel Pugsley is the author of two books, The Climb, a compilation of her sermons and on contemporary moral issues, and DMR-5, The Next Generation, a novel full of mystery and adventure about a military chaplain and the powerful influence moral change brings to the youths of local community. Founder of Piercing the Darkness Ministries and Rev It Up, both ministries dedicated to communicating the truth of God's word in our local and national forums, she is also a frequent speaker at various churches and conferences and was herself one who gave the invocation at the National Women's Memorial for Vietnam in Washington, D.C. on the 20th and 25th anniversary. Now, cadets, listen closely, because you may think, as an elder, she isn't a spry. Well, let me tell you something. She's a very active athlete, completed three triathlons in 2004, has run six marathons, numerous half marathons, various distances of 5, 10, and 15 K between 1997 and as recent as 2019. In addition to running, Pastor Pugsley is frequently a hiker on the Appalachian Trail. And I can say with great joy that her home squadron here, the 89th uh, MacDill Aviation Cadet Squadron, gets to enjoy many of her pictures that she texts back to us from the various places that she goes ahead and, and hikes to. She's a passionate patriot with a conservative viewpoint. Her years of military experience and teaching history have given her an informed vantage point from which to express the character and accomplishments of our country. She considers herself on a mission to educate and encourage her audience to participate in reestablishing an intelligent, active populace who will pursue moral excellence that is needed to fuel the fires of maintaining our country as a beacon of light. She is convinced the United States has a God-given sacred mission to uphold freedom and justice at home and in the world. And she believes completely that Civil Air Patrol chaplaincy helps complete that mission. I hold in my hands a picture of the beginning of this amazing career. This is a young Colonel Pugsley at that time. What was your rank at that time, Colonel? That was captain at this time. And this hangs proudly on our wall at our home squadron here at the 89th. The 89th is blessed with her, and our cadets can't be here today due to limitations that we need to obey. So a cadet who has been long serving in our squadron will be leaving us very soon is Cadet First Lieutenant Josh Martin. He's a dear friend of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Pugsley, and he wrote this on behalf of the squadron for you. Chaplain Pugsley is the best chaplain the 89th Max has ever been blessed to have. She has been in the squadron since the start, and even with how busy she always is, she always comes back and makes sure everyone is as fantastic as she left them. She has some of the most amazing stories ever and is never afraid to speak the truth, even if it isn't what you want to hear. Sometimes the truth is what is needed most. Chaplain Pugsley means so much to many people, both in the squadron and out. She has touched hundreds, if not thousands, of people in the Florida wing, and it would not be the same without her. From her monthly classes to all the counseling she does during encampment to her job outside of CAP, Chaplain Pugsley is one of the most outstanding women to bless this world. From her Vietnam stories to her everyday encounters, she always has something to tell you that will give you a different outlook on life. And these stories should never be forgotten. She's a perfect example of what is still left in this world that is right and pure. She lives by God and will always be put in a fantastic light. Nobody deserves the praise like she does. Put simply, we are all extremely proud of her and cannot wait to see all the things she will continue to accomplish. <clears throat> At this point here, it's my distinct pleasure to go ahead and introduce to you 
our CEO and National Commander, Major General Edward Falco. He is our 25th National Commander and our highest ranking CAP officer. General Falco was appointed by the Board of Governors on May 21st of this year. He has served as National Vice Commander September of 17 to 21, previously served as Commander of CAP's Great Lakes Region, and before that served as National Controller to CAP's Principal Advisor on Financial Accountability and Logistics from 2011 to 2015, and that was after commanding the Colorado Wing from December of 2007 to 2011. He joined CAP in the Michigan Wing as a cadet in 1987, earning the General Carl A. Sparts Award in 1993. Following transition to senior membership in CAP, his assignments include three years as commander of Michigan's Wing, Livonia, Thunderbolt, Cadet Squadron, and two years as commander of the Southeast Michigan Group. Director of Cadet Programs in both the Michigan and Colorado Wings, and Chief of Staff for the Colorado Wing. He's a commercial pilot, multi-engine instrument rated, certified flight instructor, a CAP mission pilot, cadet orientation pilot, and a check pilot with more than 2,100 hours. Holds a master's rating in aerospace educating, education and cadet programs, command of logistics specialty tracks, and senior ratings for flight operations, plans, and programs. Outside of CAP, he spent 15 years in leadership roles within the airline and software industries and currently works as a certified flight instructor and corporate pilot. He and his wife, Dr. Amanda Falca, have two children, Daniel and Catherine. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce to you Major General Falca. Thank you very much, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. I'm so pleased that we're able to broadcast this live on Facebook as well as uh, record it for future viewing. This is a historic ceremony, the passing of the stole from one National Chief of the Chaplain Corps to the next. And this is, in fact, a historic occasion. Um, Chaplain Murdoch is the first Chief of the Chaplain Corps to have served two non-consecutive tours. And Chaplain Pugsley is the first woman to become the Chief of the Chaplain Corps. And I'm so privileged to be able to appoint her. As you heard from her biography, I think you can see why she was chosen to be the Chief of the Chaplain Corps. She succeeds an absolutely outstanding officer in Chaplain Murdoch. He is an inspiration to me and to everyone else that he comes across in Civil Air Patrol. You will hear more about his accomplishments as well as Chaplain Pugsley's accomplishments and the assistant role in just a few minutes when we read some well-deserved decorations for them. I want to echo uh, the thanks to uh, Colonel Johnson and the, the wing here at MacDill Air Force Base for their support for this activity today as well as the, uh, the local CAP squadron for your making this possible. I truly wish that the members of the squadron could join us today. Uh, so that they could celebrate in person with Chaplain Pugsley. I know they're watching, I know they're celebrating with her virtually, and at the earliest opportunity when it's safe to do so, we'll get everybody together again and we'll celebrate in person. Um, I appreciate so much all of the support that's been given from Civil Air Patrol and from the Air Force, uh, and this is going to be a wonderful ceremony and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you very much. Thank you, General Falco. At this time here, we're going to have our awards ceremony. Our first is an exceptional service award for Lieutenant Colonel Linda Pugsley. Officers, please take your place. <clears throat> Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Linda Pugsley, CAP. Distinguish yourself by conspicuous performance of outstanding service and a duty of great responsibility as Deputy Chief of Chaplains for the Civil Air Patrol from 16 September 2019 to 31 August 2021. As Deputy Chief, Chaplain Pugsley provided invaluable ongoing feedback as the Principal Advisor and Second Chief of Chaplains. This position was especially critical when the Chief had to limit his duties for a from a period of illness. Her feedback helped Chaplain Murdoch maintain continuity with existing Chaplain Corps, programs, and initiatives, touching multiple directorates outside agencies, and to further those programs and initiatives, and to explore new areas of influence where the Chaplain Corps can make a positive difference in the missions of Civil Air Patrol. Chaplain Pugsley also served as co-facilitator to the critical mission of rewriting the Chaplain Corps regulation Cap R 80-1. Her input and when necessary leadership, helped move the evolving document through the multiple meetings with chaplains and CDIs from around the nation as new programs and new visions for the Corps' direction were created and documented. 
As the principal staff member for the Cap Chaplain Corps Regional Staff Colleges, she was the go-to for the chief of all aspects in this critical education program, especially when COVID impacts limited the in-person meetings in 2020. As dean of the program, she was an essential link for the efforts to continue the core connections and training using new paradigms for delivery. <clears throat> In 2021, Chaplain Pugsley continued a critical role as instructor and curriculum advisor for the Chaplain Corps Emergency Services School, also known as CHESS, which provided two additional classes of graduates with the CAP Chaplain and CAP Chaplain Support Specialist. CAP Support Ratings, which added additional Chaplain Support Teams to the capability of the Corps and the National Emergency Response Efforts. Chaplain Pugsley co-leads and serves as the first course director for the new CAP Chaplain Corps College's Wings Chaplain Course, which is, the C, uh, which is the seat change for the developing of the new Corps leadership. The singularly outstanding service of Chaplain Linda Pugsley in this duty marked national significant reflects the highest credit upon herself and the Civil Air Patrol. And now we'd like to have General Felka please come up and also be uh, giving out the next award, which is a Distinguished Service Award to Chaplain Colonel John Murdoch. Citation to accompany Distinguished Service Award, second bronze class to John B. Murdoch. Chaplain Colonel John B. Murdoch, Civil Air Patrol, distinguished himself by outstanding duty performance as Chief of the Civil Air Patrol Chaplain Programs from 22 August 2019 to 26 August 2021. Under Chaplain Murdoch's leadership, the Chaplain Corps provided a ministry of presence at 450 contact events for Civil Air Patrol members supporting COVID missions such as food and vaccine support, pods, and support of virtual command and control elements for the national CAP response. They were also able to create new venues for community building, connectivity, and mutual support during isolation. He was also instrumental in a major rewrite of the Chaplain Corps' governing directives, including CAP R 80-1, CAP Pamphlet 40-80, CAP Pamphlet 80-3, and CAP Pamphlet 80-4. The efforts of Chaplain Murdoch and the members of the Chaplain Corps resulted in a number of significant agreements with the Veterans Administration, the U.S. Air Force Reserves, and the Air Force ROTC programs. He also led the Chaplain Corps in developing new methods to educate and train its members for service as mission chaplains and chaplain support specialists. During this period, over 200 members graduated from an online emergency services training and 50 chaplains graduated from the new online Chaplains Corps Staff College. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Chaplain Murdoch reflect great credit upon himself and the Civil Air Patrol. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Colonel, um, Chaplain Colonel John Murdoch for his comments. Good afternoon. <clears throat> it's my privilege to be with you today. It's always an honor to be able to speak uh, on behalf of Civil Air Patrol, to be able to be present to uh, minister as a chaplain with Civil Air Patrol, but especially today to uh, bring honor to not only my deputy, but my dear friend, Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Linda Pugsley. Uh, I chose her for many reasons to be my deputy when I was uh, appointed the Chief of Chaplains. And for all the reasons that you have heard, uh, that just adds on to the fact that I've had the privilege of working with her, observing her, doing all these various things, and she met the mold 
of someone who would be able to step in should something happen to me during my tour as the chief, which when I got COVID needed to happen. Uh, we are thankful that uh, she was well qualified and we are thankful that I'm still with us. Uh, at least I'm thankful that I'm still with us. And so, but uh, the reality is that it's been a wonderful experience and a wonderful time over the years of knowing Chaplain Pugsley and being able to work together. I have been involved in Civil Air Patrol for many years. Uh, in fact, I have known and served under, I have served under all but two of the Chief of Chaplains of Civil Air Patrol. And uh, I have personally known many of them. And as I spent my time in Civil Air Patrol working through all of the various aspects of my time together with cadets uh, from a squadron all the way up through uh, wing, region, and national. It's been a privilege to be able to work together with each of them. They just read many accomplishments that have happened under my tour as the chief. I am very thankful that these things have been accomplished, but I have to quickly state I am very proud of my team who helped make that happen. And as we have worked through all of these things, whether they were on my staff, whether they were folk who uh, gave input on different tasks or leadership roles, uh, all the way through the squadron, the region chaplains, the squadron chaplains, they have all been a part of this accomplishment. And I'm proud to have been able to lead them. As we have walked through these years together, we have noticed that Chaplain Pugsley has had many qualities that would qualify her to be the Chief of Chaplains. And as my deputy, she was well prepared to step in and has done a wonderful job as the deputy. She's a proven leader and she is a person not only that has a great love for our country, a great love for God, but a great love for Civil Air Patrol and the cadets. And on all these levels, she has excelled. As I pass the torch, I am excited that I am passing it to Linda. I'm pleased that she is able to pick up the torch and move forward. As I do so, Linda, I'm giving you a verse of scripture that I want you to think through because you will need it throughout your tour. Isaiah the prophet told the nation of Israel as they were walking through challenges in Isaiah 41.10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. It has been my honor to lead the Chaplain Corps of Civil Air Patrol these past two years, and I am thrilled and proud to be able to pass the torch to Chaplain Colonel Linda J. Pugsley. God bless you. Thank you, uh, Colonel Murdoch. We appreciate so much your uh, words here, especially in this transitory period and how important this role is. At this time here, we would like to begin our actual promotion ceremony. If General Falca and Lieutenant Colonel Linda Pugsley would take their place, please. I would also like to introduce to you at this time two very important people to Colonel Pugsley. They are her sister, Mary Blale's sister. Come on up, please and Mark Parsons, a senior pastor and former Air Force medical technician, and they'll be doing the pinning on today. Personnel actions number NHQ 76. Announcement is made of the appointment of Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Linda J. Pugsley, Civil Air Patrol, CAP ID 359711. As the Chief of Chaplain Corps, 
Vice Chaplain Colonel John B. Murdoch, Civil Air Patrol, CAP ID 103497, and promotion to the temporary grade of Colonel, effective 26 August 2021. Authority CAP R30 1 and CAP R35 5. Signed Susan P. Parker, Director of Personnel and Member Actions. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time, Colonel Linda Pugsley. At this time, Major General Falco will give the oath of office to Colonel Pugsley. come to a very part, important part of today's ceremony, and that is the passing of the stole, the ceremony of the stole. Since the days of the early church, pastors and ordained clergy have worn a stole as a badge of office. For a chaplain, however, the stole is also reminiscent of a cape once worn by St. Martin of Tours, the first chaplain attached to an army. The legend speaks of Martin, a young soldier, who met a beggar freezing in the cold. Martin took his sword, cut his cloak in half, and gave part to the freezing man. The portion of the cape which Martin kept was entrusted to a priest called Capellani. From that Latin word came the English word chaplain, the keeper of the cape. Chaplain served the commander as an advisor, confidant, and confessor. Chaplains serve as the members of the unit and as a counselor, one who represents the holy to those in an unholy situation of disaster and disease. Chaplains are the safe harbor who listen but cannot divulge that which is revealed. Chaplains pray for those in need, for those in command, and for those whom they are honored to serve. The blue and the gray stole presented here is a badge of office which is passed from one chief of chaplains to another. The colors of the stole represent the dress uniforms of the Civil Air Patrol, reminding the chaplain of service to all members. The command patch at the back of the stole reminds us that we serve all of Civil Air Patrol. Today begins the chain of custody for this symbol of office the Chief of Chaplains, we pray that this stole may be handed with respect and honor from one former Chief of Chaplains to the new Chief of Chaplains, Colonel Linda Pugsley, who has accepted the commission to serve as the next Civil Air Patrol Chief of Chaplains on this day, 26 August of 2021.
Ladies and gentlemen, cadets, this concludes the passing of the ceremony of the stole. Gentlemen, please take your seats. At this time, we're going to have comments by our new Chief of Chaplains, United States Civil Air Patrol, Colonel Linda Pugsley. Thank you, uh, Major Felka and Chaplain Murdoch, for your kindness and sacrifice of your time to be present for this important ceremony. We live in some challenging times, and I want to assure all of our Civil Air Patrol members that your Chaplain Corps is here to help you. We are in hopes that our local, wing, and region commanders will continue to request the presence of our chaplain support teams so that we uh, will be present on the disaster and training missions, the encampments, the cadet activities, and as many places as we can possibly serve. Remember, we don't just provide religious services at these events. Know that our chaplains, our character development instructors, and chaplain support specialists are there to give you emotional and comfort care, counseling, conflict mediation, and encouragement towards spiritual resilience and wellness. We love and care for all of our members. I am privileged to serve as your new Chief of Chaplains and want to dearly thank Chaplain Murdoch for leading, guiding, and mentoring me as Deputy Chief of Chaplains. We are on the same page for service, vision, mission, goals, and metrics. He served as Civil Air Patrol Chief of Chaplains not once but twice, the only chaplain in CAP history to do so. I shall work hard to continue his legacy just not the serve twice part. Know this, for you, your chaplain core will be tough. Together, united, focused, and faithful. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. I would like to call Chaplain uh, Murdoch up to have him receive the Chaplain Emeritus Stoll. This concludes our time together. It's been a privilege and an honor for each of us to be here, and we would ask you now to join in our benediction. Almighty God, thank you for the privilege of being able to be together today. We think of the many Civil Air Patrol personnel within the sound of our voice scattered across this nation and in some countries of the world. We would ask that you would be with them as they support America in our missions to America. We pray for their safety and their success in their missions. We thank you for their families who will allow them to participate in this wonderful experience and service to country called Civil Air Patrol. We pray for our chaplain corps throughout this nation. Be with each of them, help them as they impact lives today. Use us all for your glory. And then for our leadership, we would pray that you be with General Felka as he has assumed command for his command team and all those who will be on his staff. I pray that you will just guide and direct and give them wisdom and encourage them. And we thank you again for Chaplain Pugsley, who has the heart like David, King David after God, and like Queen Esther has come for such a time as this. We pray now that you will go with us and go before us and use us as we serve our nation and as the Chaplain Corps, our God and country. In your most holy name I pray, with thanksgiving, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, senior members, friends, family, and especially you wonderful cadets of our national uh, organization known as the United States Civil Air Patrol. This concludes our ceremony today, the promotion of Linda Pugsley to Colonel and the passing of the stole between the Chief of um, uh, Chaplains Emeritus and now our new Chief of Chaplains. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs>